Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Uh, we're going to be playing a little game called Merc. Uh, but just real quick, I just wanted to go over, you might uh, have noticed that the channel looks a little different. Um, I did change the name of the channel, uh, so we went from The Last Surprise to Redisera. Um, and uh, I'll, I'll kind of post uh, some more detailed explanation than a description. But basically, um, The Last Surprise, it wasn't searchable. YouTube would autocorrect it whenever you tried to search it. And also, it was um, tied to the song from Persona 5, so you would get a lot of those results when you looked for the channel. So um, I just wasn't happy with that. Um, and uh, so the Redisera is a made-up word. I was able to get, um, you know, the, uh, the username for it on YouTube, and uh, uh, I think we're, we're going to have better luck with that. So I uh, just wanted to give a quick explanation of, of what's going on with that. You might notice everything, the channel art's different, and the title's different and everything. So, um, But like I said, I'll, I'll post a little bit more in the description about that if you want to look at that. But anyways, uh, so Merc, uh, this is a free horror game on Itch.io. Um, about you are a reporter investigating an abandoned toy factory where Satanists were rumored to be. Um, so I thought it would be cool. Let's check it out. Ooh. Some creepy music fading in. I think the game may have crashed. Oh, just kidding. It was just, it was loading. Look at our, ooh, look at our car, very fancy. I am very confused by the flashlight controls. It's very like, ooh, I don't know, I don't like it. It's very loose and kinda delayed. <clears throat> Abandoned toy factory in the middle of the forest. Very creepy. But we got a cool car, so that's what that's what that's about. Okay. I, I feel like my character is drunk. <clears throat> oh, oh, yeah, it's like it's like real weird. My mouse has to be kinda off center. Hmm. Yeah, I, can I just not use my mouse? No, I have to. That's a creepy sound. Do, 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 do. <clears throat> so this was submitted for a, <clears throat> excuse me, a game jam uh, called Two Minute Game Jam. So I don't know how much time the dev had to work on it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Chair in the corner, always good. Filing cabinet. Classic toy factory. Uh, what's that? Is that a skeleton? Ooh, the skeleton has disappeared. Yeah, my, okay. This is like my mouse is all over the place and there's no mouse lock, so it keeps drift, drifting over to the second monitor. It's, all, uh, it's very confusing. No! Oh. You guys see that skeleton right there? He he did a little sideways run. <clears throat> wow! Ooh, boy, <laughs> that got me a little bit. What do we got here? Can I open the door? <clears throat> there is no explanation on how, there's no controls or anything. Oh, okay. The cellar. We got zones in this game? I don't actually want to go to the cellar. That sounds terrifying. <clears throat> oh, there we are. Yeah, man, I've never... This mouse control is so strange. 
I wish I could explain it other than it's just kind of like off center. <clears throat> I don't know if it's like a purposeful choice or not. It's just very strange. This toy factory is built like an absolute maze. <clears throat> Can you imagine trying to navigate this thing? Wow, jeez, oh god, wow. Certainly, these audio <laughs> jump scares are very, very good. They're effective. <clears throat> Don't come here. What are you, what are you, I gotta get to the door? Oh. <clears throat> I evaded him. Thought we were gonna get like some dubstep there for a second. That was some dark halls. Oh my god! <clears throat> what are we getting ourselves into? Feels very slender, the eight pages E. <clears throat> We're due for a jump scare, I can feel it. Oh boy, there it was. Wow. It's just so sudden, and you can't. You can't prepare for it at all. Nope. Okay, that one I was relatively prepared for because he did flash. You telling me we got another zone? <clears throat> We've made it outside. <clears throat> but where's our car? There it is. We escaped. Do we get an ending? A screen? Something? A reward? Maybe? No? <clears throat> Close the desktop. Okay, <clears throat> you know what? We're gonna do some more games, that was very short. Um, so just clap your hands three times and I'll come back with another game. Did you clap three times? Uh, we're back with a game called Weather Report. Uh, this is an RPG maker horror game, which I have only played maybe one of on my channel so far. Um, so relatively new ground for me, but it's also submitted to that two minute game jam that the uh, last game, Merc, was submitted to. So let's go ahead and check it out. Enter space and Z is confirm. Okay. Arrow keys are move around. X is cancel and menu. Okay. And that's the weather report for tomorrow. Or today, actually. Keep tuning in for more updates. You should get to work. Surely. Is space one of the buttons? Yeah. Ooh, that music though. You don't cook very much. Clickety clack, clickety clack. You get a lot of work done on your project. Look at us. I want some tea, please. Nothing like a nice cup of tea to keep you up at night. <clears throat> My, it's late. There's a book of poems on this bookshelf. Read one. A good man I could not find, so I made one on my own. A gentleman, shrewd and kind, that good man I could not find. So in the dark arts, I did. In the dark arts, did I hone? Because I had for too long pined a good man I could not find, so I made one of my own. Good poem, okay. <clears throat> There's a collection of modern horror stories. Engineer found dead at home, read the newspaper headline. Paul Ibiaz, 29, was found dead in his basement last Friday afternoon. Paul, a local engineer, was dismembered by an assailant who ripped out all his organs, including his lungs, heart, and brain. 
The article continued, He was apparently tinkering with a video arcade cabinet before he died. He shall be missed. But Paul knew better than those newspaper idiots. He knew that he wasn't dead, that a machine had carefully scooped out his organs. He knew that nobody would miss him. That's why he built an arcade cabinet to house his soul, to be loved by all. The end. That was weird. <clears throat> yeah, why not? Once there was a prince of a certain country who, upon being informed of a plague that reached his borders, decided to wait it out in a fortress. He had many courtier courtiers hold up with him, and they passed many months in decadent delight, never knowing of the horrors that lay outside their walls. But the plague was long and rough and horrid, and the prince and his courtiers soon became bored in their golden cage. One day the prince had a smashing idea, a big masquerade with dances and lots of prizes for the costumes. A massive affair filling the fort. Now in this fortress, the prince had designed seven ballrooms, each around a certain color, one for blue, green, and so on. The last ballroom, though, was a deep, deep scarlet color, which looked haunting in the moonlight. Few of the prince's courtiers dared enter there. Indeed, when the clock chimed every hour, the whole scarlet ballroom would grow silent and uneasy until the chimes died away. But this aside, the masquerade was an outstanding smash, peculiar, with a bias toward the prince's own perverse tastes, but ma magnificent nonetheless. Yes, this was a wild, fiery affair, indeed. Fanciful, beautiful, grotesque, bizarre, daring, dreamlike, and even a little disgusting. The ballgoers, in their frenzy, danced until the clock chimed twelve, when the dancing and confusion music ceased in an air of confusion, and then... The party became aware of the new member of the crowd, someone unwelcome, someone sinister. That man had on the shroud of a beggar, and while that could be endured by the crowd, he wore a mask of the symptoms of the plague devastating the country. The Red Death. Even the reckless can be moved to emotion. Even with the utterly lost, there are matters of which no jest can be made. The ballgoers reacted first with shock, then anger, then horror. Call the prince, they shouted. He must cast out the mis miscreant at once. The prince hushed the music at once. Who dares disturb our revelry? His voice echoed throughout the halls. We shall unmask him and hang him. The prince rushed towards the scarlet chamber where the masked vagrant was hiding, but when he reached there, ugh, the prince collapsed upon the floor. The revelers rushed the vagrant then, tearing his garments apart, but there was no one inside them. One by one, the revelers died of the plague, the Red Death, just as the prince had done. In darkness and decay, and the Red Death held illimitable dominion over all the end. Cool story. Okay, buddy. <clears throat> you don't need to go up there yet. Okay, well, my it's late. What would you have me do then? <clears throat> oh, I'm working on my project. Why are, um, why are some of the words red? Just a few more minutes. You wonder how your coworker is doing. You should really get back in touch with her. It'd be nice if you could. Oh! Darn, it looks like a fatal exception error. Maybe you should get some rest. All right. Oh, hey. Was that, you need to head up to the attic now. What the heck? All right, it's do or die time. Books, her books. What? Bones, but whose? Bones, what? Uh, equations and models for the experiment. What is this nonsense? A bloody faucet and bloody handprint. Oh, hey, I barely even noticed you. Oh, don't look so glum. You know how I get around you. Say, take a look, took a look at the tank. Notice anything different? That's right, it's growing. Ooh. In fact, it's growing so fast that it might just... Uh-oh, looks like there's trouble. Good thing I won't be the one dealing with it, huh? Yep. Oh. Ah! Oh. It was a dream, just a horrible, horrible dream. Well, thank goodness. Time to get to work, I suppose. <clears throat> then again, maybe I should sleep in. End. Okay, pretty cool. Weather report. Lemon Demon and Edgar Allan Poe. True end. I got the true ending. Maybe because I read all of the books. All right, well, you know, I think we got time for another horror game. 
Um, and... All right, we're back with another game. Uh, this is 16 Dark Place Street. Uh, this one caught my attention because it is stylized to kind of look like an old Atari game, which I thought was pretty cool. You'll see what I mean by the art style here in a second. So was and E is interact. Okay. This is called 16th Dark Place Street, right? But this is 35. Okay. Diary of Susan Holloway. 1 2 1981. Mom wants me to try this diary thing out. She did it when she was young, which was a million years ago. I'm probably never going to write in this again. Okay, that's that there. I was wrong. Dad came home drunk again. Mom was trying to hide it, but I could tell. This is getting annoying. Glendale Gazette, June 15th. The annual Glendale parade was halted today when one of the floats malfunctioned and crashed into a local business. The malfunction was apparently caused by a broken shaft in the float axis. All damages will be paid by the event's organizer. In other news, a fight broke out at Alders. Okay. <clears throat> Uh-oh. Text. Go home, text. Alan, you forgot to pay for cable again. Where is this money going? Yo. Uh... Game. Thank you, I was going to say. A young girl, Susan Holloway, has been reported missing by her family. Last seen 9 a.m. Last seen 9 a.m. at the day of a parade. Police are investigating where she may have gone to. Her mother, Amy Holloway, said, please come home, Susan. Alan, please take out the trash. Been here for days. You were supposed to do it last week. Stop going to the bar. What? Oh, wait, hold on. Dad broke my doll. He stepped on it and then yelled at me. Mom said he was having a bad day, but he still broke my doll. I told David, but he doesn't care. He never does. Who's David? Where? What is that? Where am I? I hate Dave. Oh, wow, hold on. I'm trying to read the diary, thank you. Hmm, okay. Game. Listen. Thank you. Nope, I'm trying to read the diary. I hate David. I told him how I was worried, and he told I was being an idiot. Isn't he worried? Got some grammatical errors. Nothing too bad, but kind of takes you out of it. Oh. Takes you, okay, takes you out of it a little bit, right? Mom and dad are fighting again. I couldn't sleep because of it. Man, they are loud. I'm start. I starting to think they are going to get divorced. Okay. <clears throat> I don't like living here anymore. Everyone is so mad all the time. I hate living here. are exactly the same except for a diary entry. I have a plan. How many rooms are in this hallway? I tried to get them to have a nice day. They still fought. They always fight. David doesn't care. I know what I'm going to do. What is that? Note to self, entryway has a secret? What? Goodbye. You want me to go back to the entryway? My guy moves like molasses.
Okay. What could the secret be? Is it the rug? I, I have no idea. I'm tapping E. So, was there another room I could go to over here? No. Is it entryway has a secret? Maybe like outside entryway? I'm just tapping E. Whoa, whoa, hold on. What's. A new detective, Marcus Greer, has been assigned to the missing person case of Susan Holloway. Concerns have been raised over how green Greer may be, but to this he had to say, don't worry, we'll find her. Oh, I hear that. It has been over a month since the disappearing of 12-year-old Susan Holloway, last seen playing on her parent front lawn. While most are now accepting the sad reality that she may never be found, Detective Greer had this to say, I refuse to accept that there is nothing that can be done. I will find that girl if it's the last thing I do. New developments in the Susan Holloway case have emerged. Sightings of a girl matching her description have occurred in the neighborhood, neighboring town of Dark Place. Okay. All right. Whoa! The body of 12-year-old Susan Holloway was found today. She had apparently died months ago due to starvation. Her family, who just yesterday were so filled with hope, looked as if their whole world had just ended. David Greer, had, Detective Greer, no comment. Um, what? Oh, Jesus Christ. You shouldn't be here. Am I David? What is this? Nope. Nope. I'm not going back. Going back to where? I'm very confused. Do you have any idea what that place is like? How lonely it is? I know I'm not supposed to be here anymore. But I wanted it back. I wanted what back? All the good times, as few as they were. I want my life back. Is that so wrong? What? Um, okay. So... We had some uh, spelling and grammatical errors, which, I mean, you can overlook as long as there's just a couple. Um, I don't hate the idea behind the game. I thought there was something there, for sure. Um, I, I enjoyed reading the notes. I just don't feel like it was put together in, like, a meaningful way. Um, I don't know. I, I don't know really how I feel about that one. And then it just kind of stopped. Um, so, I, I mean... I know it was a first time game dev. I think this is great for a first time game. First, you know, first game someone's made. Um, but yeah, I, I really don't know how I feel about that one. I like the art style. I think the, um, it reminds me almost of like Faith by Airdorf. Um, I, I can see it kind of being similar to that. But um, so I think, you know, the idea behind it and the, um, looking at newspaper articles and then they turn into kind of ominous notes that shouldn't be able to be written there. That was cool. So, um, yeah, I don't know guys, check this one out for yourself. See what you think about this one. See what you see about all three. I'm going to leave description or, uh, links in the description for all three games that we played today. Um, all of them are available for free on itch.io. Um, if you, uh, liked the episode, I really appreciate it. If you like and subscribe, uh, it really means a lot to me and I upload content every day. So I will see you back with another video tomorrow. Thank you guys so much for watching.
拜。